Hello, Lord of Life family. Welcome to a beautiful day. I am out here on uh, the patio. Lately, I've been uh, doing morning stretches out here, and it's been just a, a wonderful delight to enjoy the beauty of God's creation out here and tend to a body that uh, after after a night's sleep um, needs a little rejuvenating to get going in the morning. Our uh, readings today are uh, from Psalm 130, also uh, from 1 Samuel 20, verses 1 through 25, and 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 1 through 7. I hope you'll read those with me this day. And I'd like to talk just a little bit about the First Samuel reading, First Samuel chapter twenty. It's um, a story about uh, King David and how King David was not sure where he stood with the ruler of the day, with Saul. He was friends with Jonathan, Saul's son, and they were having a difference of opinion as to whether whether Saul favored David or whether Saul was angry and resentful and essentially was a threat to David. And so they, in, the, in this story this, this day, um, concocted a test and a, a, a means, a code, if you will, for Jonathan to let David know whether... Um, all his worries were for naught, or whether, in fact, he did have to worry for his safety because Saul was jealous and Saul um, might mean to do David harm. This story is one of many that I've been dwelling on in these last uh, few you, well, I would say about a month and a half or so as our master class on Wednesday nights. I've been walking through First and Second Samuel, and uh, it's 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 been a great conversation, a great uh, um, a great time to dig into these uh, these stories about King David, um, and I would encourage you to. Join us on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock uh, when we start back up. We're taking a little bit of a break, but let me know, and I'd be glad to, um, to, to sign you up for, for uh, receiving the link. It's on Zoom that we meet. Um, one of the things that I have um, reminded the class again and again is that um, the point of learning the stories about King David isn't so much to learn about King David himself, but to understand Jesus better and to understand um, what it was that the people in Jesus' day expected, to understand uh, why it was that uh, Jesus didn't fit that image of King David, um, although he does in some respects. I mean, here's a case in today's reading where... Um, where the authorities mean to do David harm. And uh, that certainly uh, resonates with the story of Jesus. But as you learn about King David and, and all that he was about, um, it becomes very apparent that Jesus was in many ways deliberately not like King David. He was, he was a king in the house and lineage of David, but uh, his way of being a king, not a king of war, but a king of peace. Uh, not a king of, of, of anger, uh, but a king of reconciliation. Um, is uh, an important lesson for us as we seek to understand Jesus better and better all the time. I uh, thank you for walking with us in this journey. And uh, I invite you to a time of prayer as we do every every uh, weekday, Monday through Friday at uh, 1245 or whenever you can get it in um, as we as we uh, 
unite our, our hearts in, uh, in service of uh, the King, Jesus. Let us pray. Oh, gracious God, we give thanks for the gift that this world is. We give thanks for the gift that is our body that can move and is so wondrously made. We also give thanks for this story of your work in this world and how it points to your love and your care for us each and every day. Bless this world. There's a lot to pray for um, each and every day. We pray for our nation. We pray for our community. We pray for our congregation. In Jesus' name. God bless you wherever you are.